for step 51, all we need to do is just change the min um, height of, and just move where it is. So I'm just moving it from only affecting input and text area to now it, um, it affects input text areas and select elements. And so um, they all have the same height. This, now this has a higher height than it did before. All right, for, so for this one, there's a special, a new thing that we can use to select elements. Um, and that's choosing if, if you can select something only if it has a certain attribute, a certain value attached to it. So the example gives us here is any input element that is, has the name password. If, if we named it password, then that's all it's going to affect. And so we just add these brackets. It's a special format. But what we're just going to include is if we go back to our index.html, we want to affect just the submit button. So we'll go look at it. We can target it with just this type equals quotation mark, submit, and then a closing qu quotation mark. And if we just, I'll just copy and paste that. That's all we need to use in addition to this in input. Put in brackets, type equals submit, and that will only affect the submit button now. And so all we have to do, display block with 60% because we want our submit button to look a little bit different from the rest. Okay, so for this next thing, we want to center it, right? We use display block, so now it's centered to the left. But what we can do is we can change the, the margin. So if we look back to the form over here, we see we did margin zero and then auto. So the zero affects top and bottom. We don't want any margin on the top, none on the bottom. But we do want it to automatically center everything. So we do auto for left and right. That's a, that's a shorthand, so top and bottom, and this is left and right. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the same thing right here. So just type in margin and then zero auto. And now if we scroll down, we can see our submit button is now centered. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna match the height with everything else, which is two EM, and then just make the font a little bit bigger by doing 1.1 REM. So you can see that font is just a little bit bigger than everything else, just to drive home, hey, the submit button's the main thing. And we're also gonna make it look a little bit different from everything else. So we're gonna give it some special colors. Oops, forgot that B right there. And then we're gonna make sure it has a border color that we can see. So we can type in white, that works. We can do hashtag FFF. We could do FFFF, that's all the same. Um, but sometimes it's kinda just nice to be able to type in white. All right, so next thing we are going to do is we are going to kind of change the margins again um, instead of doing zero we actually want a little bit of padding on the top and the bottom and we don't want it to be um, at the end of the page just sitting at the very bottom there so what we're going to do is just do one em like that oops looks like i forgot something right i have to do um, um i have to add a min width we don't want it to be ever less than 300 pixels. So no matter how squished, it's always gonna be at least this wide. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the file, um, anything with the type file, attribute, any input, is gonna look the way that exactly that we want it. So we're just gonna add our own padding, um, just depending on what browser, sometimes it looks different. So this is the way that we want to style it. So we're just going to specify that right there. Next, we are going to um, add two EM of padding just to the bottom of the form, right? So when we scroll down, that's not quite enough padding right at the bottom. So we're going to specify it ourselves. So what we're going to do is just go to padding dash bottom, and then we're going to do two EM. Now, if we scroll down, we have more space. All right, for the last step, all we have to do is make sure we can read that link. It's been bothering me for a little while, and now we finally get to fix it. So we'll just target all links and just change the color to DFDFE2. That's really similar to white, but a little bit distinct.